yeah what's up everyone welcome on back to the channel hope you're having a lovely day whatever day it is for you out there thank you so much for clicking the video for being here for joining me on this beautiful day that it is let's go ahead and listen to some yes because that's what we're here for that's what you're here for because you're here <laughs> so let's listen to the next track here on big generator shoot high aim low which i can only imagine is just a just a a, a metaphor for aiming for your goals as as far as you can like like shooting high aim well not aiming high because you're aiming low i guess like trying as, as best as you can to reach those goals no matter how far they may be no matter high how high they may be and far from they may be and then aim low like but keep your expectations low maybe i don't know let's go ahead and listen to the track we'll talk about it after here we go Like how the groove came in. Track. <laughs> this 
send it. That's a banger. No, sh no, that's that's a really, really, really good track. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, take me back. Let's all travel back. Let's get in our little time machine. Let's travel back to the year that this album was released, 1987, all right? So we've gone through the progressive days. You got 90125, which divided fans a little bit, maybe more than previous albums, right? And now we're firmly going into like their more pop phase, cool. You lose some, you gain some. I think both sides sound absolutely excellent. They did a great job with their pop music. They do a great job, obviously, with the progressive side. Then you get a song like this. Maybe maybe you listen to 90125 and you're like, uh, I know, maybe this is like a one-time kind of departure. Let me pick up this album, Big Generator, when it comes out and let's give it another shot. Maybe the first two tracks, you're like, sounds like the same stuff we had before. Maybe you're like... Yes, it sounds like the, the same stuff we're getting before, and it's like pushing a little bit more, right? And then you get to a track like this. I think, this is just me, I think that this is one of those tracks that's going to like please everybody. Because, yeah, it's definitely a little bit more simplistic, I guess you could say, than their, you know, more progressive output and stuff like that, right? It definitely has a poppier note to it, but it is still expansive. And... One thing that I think that Yes does a great job with in every aspect is the atmosphere that they create. They do a great job, whether that is, you know, in their pop side, their prog side, they're always, they always have this unique atmosphere within their music. And a song like Shoot High, Aim Low is one of those tracks that they, they dive into that ocean of atmosphere and they let you just float with it. They just let you drift with the waves. This is a song that you just feel. This is a track you just kind of get lost in. I'm really, 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 really loving Squire's bass here. I love the way that he comes in because he, like, there's obviously places where he plays more constant. But a lot of the moments in here, during the verse especially, and in the intro, he kind of just pops in like a little wave and, and pops back out. A little, uh, uh, well... <laughs> What's the word when a wave comes in? Oh my god, I just I, I'm I'm losing it. You know, little little current comes in, 
and then it backs back out. So it just has this really nice movement every time that it comes in and out. And the tone of his bass is sensational, like just watery. Um, Rabin gets some really nice guitar work in here, uh, almost kind of Spanish influence in some ways. Uh, not sounding like how, but I could hear how playing something like this, you know, when the moments when he has his little guitar coming out, that's like, that, that sounds really, really nice. The drumming was fantastic, a nice rhythmic beat with some little flares here and there. The music empties out about three quarters of the way through and we kind of get, not a solo, but a solitary moment. I wouldn't say a solo, but it's a solitary moment. And then K's keys, you got that organ sound that comes in very nicely, just that, that big pushing sound with a lot of depth to it. Uh, and then of course, Anderson himself just sounds wonderful. He, he, Duh. I mean, I'm a fanboy, so whatever. Like, I think this is a really, really strong track. I mean, I'm really curious as to what you guys think of it, because I think this will, um, I mean, you know, nothing's promised. I can't say that this will please everybody, but this is a really, really good track here, this one. We hit the blue fields in the blue sedan. We didn't get much further. Just as the sun was rising in the mist, we were all alone. We don't need much more. So fast this expedition, so vast this heavy load, seeing the guns and their faces waiting for something. Shoot high, break low, aim high, shoot low, break high, let go, shoot high, aim low. This was to be our last ride, underneath the skin of feeling a breakdown. The exchanges in the currency of humans bought and sold, and the leaders seem to lose control. Shall we lose ourselves for a reason? Shall we burn us ourselves for the answer? Have we found the place that we're looking for? Someone shouted, open the door, look out. Not quite sure what this song is about, to be honest. I mean, when he says, you know, I mean, he mentioned seeing the guns and their faces. We looked around the open shore. It makes me, it just makes me think of like D-Day and like soldiers arriving onto a beach, especially with the whole shoot high, aim low, blah, 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 blah. This might be our last ride. Leaders losing control. Shall we lose ourselves for a reason? Are we um, soldiers, you know, are we, are we dying and losing our lives for a reason? Is there a greater cause or have we kind of been lied to in a sense and someone tried to open the door look out that makes me think of d-day the ship you know the ships dropping the doors and then everyone running out onto the beach and of course that could be applied to the many other beaches and stuff um besides normandy anyways uh shoot high aim low nothing you say or you nothing you can say takes me by surprise uh shoot high let go who says there's got to be a reason oh, so it's almost like that's what i think of like thoughts going through a soldier's mind maybe in those moments kind of thing. That's at least what I'm kind of feeling. But there is a Wikipedia page to save us here. It says here that the song, according to John Anderson, is about war, specifically a future in which mankind will live beyond war. In most of these announcements, Anderson explains that the blue fields mentioned in the first line are in Nicaragua. At the, at the time the album was being worked on, a legal battle between the U.S. and Nicaragua uh, had occurred over U.S. aid to anti-government guerrillas. Anderson also explains on some occasions that Trevor, who performs lead vocals on the song, alternate with Anderson, is singing in dream time while Anderson is singing in real time. Mmm, okay. That's why if you guys look at the lyrics, at least on Genius, it's kind of separated. Some verses are in parentheses, some are not. So, okay, so that's where you kind of have that alternating... Um, back and forth there, which is a really interesting concept based on what he's saying that some of that is in the dream time and then others in real time. That is really, really cool. This is a really, really good track. I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys thought of it. This was really, really good. Uh, let me know what you thought though. Comments down below. You can follow me over on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. Thank you as always for being here and uh, come back tomorrow, guys. Bye.